Hi guys and gals, I'm Amanda Kloman, and I'm going to take you to the twilight zone of wearable devices in this week's Mobile Minute. Wearables have always looked like they're straight out of a sci-fi movie, and that's just the stuff for our heads and wrists. Well, buckle in, because there's a whole new dimension of wearable tech worth mentioning. After successfully selling out of glass during a one-day sale, Google is already working on the next big thing. This time, it's a contact lens with a sensor that measures your blood glucose levels. Diabetics are the ones set to truly benefit from this technology. Instead of pricking their fingers, they'll be able to monitor their blood glucose levels in the blink of an eye. But as discreet as contacts are, the real future of technology will neither be seen nor worn. It'll be ingested. A company called Proteus Digital Health is already making this happen. The Proteus Digital Health system is, as Fast Company puts it, a Fitbit tracker on steroids. You swallow a tiny transmitter pill, place a bandage-sized sensor on your torso, and let your phone tell you all about your body. You'll scoff at the next person who tells you their step count. Ingestibles may take some of the effort out of wearables, but a more permanent solution to life-improving technology is the implantable. One such device comes from the brilliant minds at Brown University, and it involves your brain. Engineers at Brown have been hard at work on a wireless brain sensor that can relay real-time broadband signals from up to 100 neurons in freely moving subjects. The hope is to allow people suffering from severe paralysis to control devices with their thoughts. Although no humans have taken the chip for a ride yet, tests in large animals have shown positive results. Does the future of wearable technology weird you out? Or is it weird that we haven't been wearing, swallowing, and implanting these devices for decades? The answer is as profound as the pursuit of eternal health. But for now, that's your Mobile Minute.